The Fourth Amendment protects against unreasonable searches and seizures. In Arizona v. Johnson, we explore what's required for a protective frisk during a traffic stop to comply with the Fourth Amendment. While patrolling a neighborhood near Tucson, Arizona, police officers stopped a vehicle due to a traffic violation. One officer noticed that the vehicle's backseat passenger, Lemon Johnson, was wearing gang clothing and had a police scanner. Consequently, the officer began questioning Johnson. After Johnson voluntarily shared his name, age, address, and prior criminal history, the officer was convinced of Johnson's gang involvement and sought to question Johnson separately to gain intelligence about the gang. She asked Johnson to exit the car, and he complied. Based on her observations, the officer suspected Johnson was armed. Consequently, the officer patted him down. The pat-down revealed a gun, and Johnson was charged with prohibited possession of a weapon. At trial, Johnson moved to suppress evidence of the gun, arguing that the officer's search was unconstitutional. The state argued that the search was constitutional because it occurred incident to a lawful traffic stop, and the officer suspected Johnson was armed. The trial court denied the motion to suppress, and Johnson was convicted. The Arizona Court of Appeals reversed, holding that the pat-down was unconstitutional because the officer and Johnson's consensual discussion unrelated to the traffic violation meant that the frisk wasn't incident to the traffic stop. The Arizona Supreme Court denied review, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.